Barcelona, Spain, more than 700 mayors from Catalonia met Saturday in Barcelona in a show of strength amid pressure from Spain's central government not to hold an independence referendum for the northeastern region. Political tensions in Spain are increasing as the proposed voting date of October 1 nears. The Catalan government has been scrambling to push forward the vote, despite the central government's warnings that local municipalities are not allowed to use public buildings for it, and mayors can be legally prosecuted for it. Hundreds of mayors stood Saturday next to regional president Carles Puigdemont and Barcelona Mayor Ada Colau in Barcelona, the capital and main city in the region. We will not be intimidated. This is not about independence, it's about our rights, said Colau. Puigdemont thanked the mayors for not backing down and insisted that most Catalans are determined to press ahead despite the ban. Do not underestimate the Catalan people, he warned. Iceland Premier loses coalition, resigns Copenhagen, Denmark. Iceland's president Saturday accepted the resignation of the Volcanic Islands Prime Minister, who says a new election most likely will be held on November 4. Prime Minister Bjarni Benediktsson lost his nine-month centre-right coalition after one party quit over an attempt by the Prime Minister's father to help clear the name of a convicted pedophile. President Gudni Th. Johannesson met Saturday with Benediktsson and was meeting with other party leaders later in the day. A small centrist party, Bright Future, quit the ruling coalition Friday after it emerged that Benedictson's father had written a letter urging a pardon for Jalti Sigurdjian Hawkson, who was convicted in 2004 of raping his stepdaughter almost every day for 12 years. Under Iceland's judicial system, a person who has served a sentence for a serious crime can apply to authorities to restore their honor and seek employment again, meaning their criminal record is erased. 20 suspected gays arrested in Zanzibar, Zanzibar, Tanzania. Authorities in Tanzania's semi autonomous region of Zanzibar have detained 20 people accused of engaging in same sex activities, police said Saturday, the latest incident in a crackdown on homosexuality in the East African country. Twelve women and eight men were arrested after a police raid on a hotel where the suspects were attending a workshop, said regional police chief Hassan Ali. Yes. We rounded them up because we suspect that they were engaged in homosexuality in Zanzibar, which is illegal in Zanzibar and is against the law of the country, he said, adding that police will intensify their vigilance against those groups. Homosexuality is criminalized in Tanzania, and sex among men is punishable by jail terms ranging from 30 years to life imprisonment. Tanzanian authorities recently have cracked down on homosexuals. In September 2016, the government temporarily suspended HIV-AIDS outreach projects targeting gay men. In February, the government stopped 40 privately run health centers from providing AIDS-related services, accusing them of catering to homosexuals. Seven teased boys held in fatal fire at school Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Malaysian police said Saturday that they have arrested seven boys suspected of intentionally starting a fire at an Islamic boarding school that killed 23 people because students there had teased them. Kuala Lumpur Police Chief Amar Singh said the boys, ages 11 to 18, were rounded up since Friday night after they were identified in CCTV footage from a neighboring building that showed them near the school the night of the fire. The pre-dawn blaze Thursday at a three-story Tafis school, where Muslim boys study and memorize the Quran, blocked the only exit to the dormitory on the top floor, trapping students behind barred windows. Two adults and 21 students, ages 6 to 17, were killed. From our investigation, the motive behind the mischief was due to a misunderstanding after the suspects and some Tafis students mocked each other a few days before the fire, Singh said at a televised news conference.